What's up guys and gals and welcome back to the Nerd Castle for another episode of Battle Chasers Night War. My name is Splattercat, happy to have you here today as we run towards a tent. So let's run towards a tent. A strange campsite, what's so strange about it? I see a tent and a rock and a campfire. What makes this place strange? Let us investigate. Da -da -da. Are there bad things over? It's loading so something bad's gonna happen. Nothing good ever happens when a game loads, I'm telling you that right now. Ooh, it's an exploration area. Can I get some loot though? Barricades in the middle of a forest? Someone's here. Yes, we should proceed with caution. Alright. Um, what are we looking at here? We've got a torch, so somebody obviously lit a fire out here. We've got what looks like a giant kettle in the middle of... They must be English. It's tea. It's tea. Somebody go taste it. I bet it's tea. Somebody put the kettle on. I know. English people, they, they can't help it. They gotta put the kettle on every... Listen, I hung out with EE for years, alright? They have to put the kettle on at least once every two hours. It's just, it happens. You, you account for it, and then you move forward. A camp. It looks like somebody was here recently. Smells certainly fresh. The bandit Grimbeard drove off? Ambush. Damn you! Apparently we've been... We've been ambushed. We're being attacked by a ghost. And what looks like a weird little battle tank thing. I'm gonna smack the battle tank and just kind of see what happens. Actually, I can't see this guy right now, so I think he's gonna hit us either way. So that's 18 damage. It didn't seem to do that much pain. Let's go ahead and charge up some of our little limit breaks here. We'll start whooping on things. Oh, it actually hurts you when you hit it too. Interesting. Okay. I hadn't really thought about that. Apparently a giant steel robot can be hurt by steely not- Ow! I've been gutted. Dude stabbed me and he made it look stylish when- Ooh, hi. How's it going? Welcome. Good to see you. Ow, that hurt my face. Uh, let's do Warblade. And I'm gonna Warblade this dude over here. It's gonna take us some casting time to get it done though. And then I think I'm gonna run... Healing Wave seems like a good idea. Let's do that. And then on this side we've got Scattershot. Yeah, Scattershot that guy. Oh, it still hurts you even when you throw a rock at it. Okay, a little minor oversight right there as far as logic goes, but hey, I'm not gonna complain about- Ooh, that hurt, huh? You didn't like that, did you? And look, all that damage you've been dealing, it's gone because I've got the power of magical minty effervescent eagles. That's right, you didn't know that was coming, did you? Magical effervescent eagles. Nobody expects magical effervescent eagles. Okay, so that guy's been beat down now. She punched him in the dick so hard that he blacked out. Precision strike. Yeah, do your thing, man. Go ahead and go get him. It's only 2 HP. We don't need it that badly. This guy doesn't have a whole lot of overcharge left, so I'm gonna keep on going. And unfortunately, it wasn't enough to drop the little bastard, but she's still up. Dick punch! She punches downwards, man. That's definitely a groin punch right there. Like, that's going for the ultimate disablement right there. And look at the size of those knuckles, man. That shit's gonna hurt. I don't care if she is a child. Uh, we've got unlocked wildfire, barrier swing, and rage wave. I like the sound of rage wave. Rage Wave sounds like something that would go, Ooh, the letter he was carrying has a seal. It must be important. What does it say? Hard to tell. It's half smeared in blood, but it does say Outsiders, which has got to be us. Also, references to, or references to an outpost. The Smith in town may know what it means. Why do I feel like this is going to get complicated? Because it's a video game. It has to get complicated. I stole your $18. What you gonna do? Wah, wah. I stole your $18. I bet it smells like poop. Wah, wah. All right, so we're going to open up this chest. Give me the good loot. We got a Cyclone, a layered leather vest. Dude, I think we're about ready to equip some Maz. Let's give him so Cyclone over here. Stamina goes down by 4. Health goes down by 20. However, attack power goes up by 20. I'm a fan. Let's have the Cyclone cannon. I'm pretty happy about this. A steam-powered prototype cannon. The word Cyclone is written shakily onto the side. Uh, she's going to be able to wear this garb over here, which lowers her attack power... But gives her a lot of defense, and since she's kind of squishy, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Do they? Does it change what they look like? So I gotta like. So she's got like a gold G right there. It's gotta change what they look like. Yeah, it looks. It looks like it changes ever so slightly. Maybe just in the coloration or something. Did his gun change when we put that on there? Where's his gun at? Let me see where your rifle's at, bro. Oh, he's just rocking big nucks right now. Okay. We've got ourselves a layered leather vest, which lowers his attack power but gives him defense. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it. It's possible the armor doesn't change for right now because 
it's possible the armor doesn't change right now, so they've gone with a tiered system. So all the armor at like a certain tier looks the same, and then once you get to like level 10, they drop a new armor set that looks a little bit different. I can't tell any difference in between these two. That one is definitely blue daba dee daba die. But actually, what I would suggest is... It all kind of looks the same to me. I don't know. I think. I can't really tell. It might look slightly different. I don't know. Eh. I'm not good at noticing differences. Like, you know when you used to have, like, Guidepost magazine when you were a kid, like, at the doctor's office? And they'd be like, tell me the five differences between these two pictures? I was never any good at that, so... Unfortunately for right now, I'm just going to equip what's best. The things with higher level requirements. That's how this works in an RPG. Let's fight these cats. Let's do it. I mean, they're not cats. They're bats. But it's just one letter apart. One letter apart. Feast Blorble Blobble. We are definitely not going to feast Blorble Blobble right now. You better back away from me before I Blorble Blobble your blood all over the place. So we've got Gut Punch now. Does the gun give us any new abilities? What does Wildfire do? Let's see here. Fires eight shots, hitting random targets for seven damage each. Do it! I I want to see it right now. And then I want to see what does Barrier Swing do. So Barrier Swing is 24 damage, and then it converts it into a damage shield. That's not bad. That sounds pretty good to me. I mean, damage shield sounds super nice. Oh, here comes the gat. Yeah, buddy. Putting the pain on him. That's how you hunt bats right there. You hunt them with the brucka. The brucka. Like brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
I don't think you do. Shit. Apparently my escape key is not working. I need to get a new man. I need to get a I need to get a new keyboard badly. Wait, I had a letter opener right there. What's up with the letter opener? Is that the one that he already has? Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Where did I get that from? And why did I buy an extra sword if I already? When did I get a sword? When did I pick up a sword? I don't recall ever picking up a sword. This is on some boo shit. So we can go with serrated blade and extra stamina or our lost stamina. So 10% to make them bleed for 17 piercing damage. I don't know. I'll probably just go for that one right there. Oh, at least the weapons look different. So at least something changes around. I'm happy to see that. I mean, we knew that already from seeing his stuff over there. But is her weapon not going to upgrade? Like, my concern here is, like, she just got those big old fists or whatever. So... So ground smash. Stuns all nearby enemies. Stun carries over into combat and breaks weak walls. His is quick step, avoids trap damage, and adds a massive buff if he initiates combat with it. And then restores party health by a moderate amount. Okay. Sounds good to me. Let's go talk to this cat over here. What's up, G? I hear you're going beyond the north gate. Maybe you aren't as boring as I thought you were. Take this flask. It'll bring anyone who's fallen in battle right up. They're limited, but uh, I didn't click right there. It did that all on its own. I hear you're going beyond the north gate. Take the flask. It'll get people right back up. They're limited, but they'll ensure you live long enough to pay me another visit. Yes? Yes? Okay, so he's got things in here. I'm going to sell him this busted-ass cannon. Yup. And then I'm going to sell him some of my old undies. There you go. Take my britches, fool. There you go. Get those britches in there. I know how you guys like britches. And then, dude, it gave me revival flasks twice on that one because it went through the dialogue twice. I'm thinking maybe the dialogue isn't rigged together quite so well. That's definitely a little bug right there because it gave me five, and then I exited out and did the conversation again. It gave me another five. <laughs> But we'll we'll play this thing close. I don't want to be I don't want to be exploitative, you know. I don't want to be that guy. And so I'm supposed to be going to the north. Do we have a map or anything? We do have a map. We has a map. Okay, so there's like a little place over there. It looks like we're not going to get anything other than like pictographs along the way. So it's not going to label anything for us. But at the same time, at least we've got some kind of manageable movement. There's the northern gate key right there. So we'll spit that on open. But I'm not going anywhere until we clear out. All I'm a completionist when it comes to shit like this. I want to see... What is this down here? Hold on. I'm curious about what this is. Let's go look. And expect a strange machine. A flat round machine sits quietly in the earth. Dust and dirt are spread evenly across the surface. Nothing happens. So apparently we hit the button and a bunch of bats flew out of the woods. Science! Science has been performed. Let's fight some of these bats over here. We're going to beat these dudes down. It's going to go on. Sorry, I insert my own battle music. I need iconic battle music while I do this thing. Either that or like the Final Fantasy VI boss music. -na 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 -na. We got Veil Herbs right there. Sounds good. I don't know if I'm going to be able to use that, but at some point, I assume we're going to get the crafter. Oh my god, that's a cannon. What was that? Cannon fire! Get back! Hmm, there is a cannon emplacement on the ridge to the east. We cannot go any further. The risk is too great. Damn. What does this do over here? There's a cave over here. Oh, we've got to beat down some spiders. So what does that mean right there? What do those do? I mean, I'm going to gut punch this spider real fast because it makes me feel better about myself. Hurting his self-confidence with a punch makes me feel good. So there we go. That's one spider down, and then that spider, I think, is probably going to get an attack off and try to hurt me. But st Oh, you almost one-shotted him, man. That's everything that we aspire to in a JRPG. Come on. you got to be able to one-spot. you got to be able to one... So if you've got a perfectly good fist, why wouldn't you just use that cannon? Is there like an ammo shortage? So we got to do wave one. Oh, it's a multi-wave fight. Okay, cool. It's a fight that's got a little bit of the wave to it. Dude, I don't like it when people don't do the wave when we're doing the wave at, like, ball games. It upsets me. Like, get into it, man. Get into it. Why won't you do the... Oh, he cleaved right now. Yup. Got him. And I get to keep my overcharge from the last fight, so that's pretty good. I like that, just chaining little attacks together and whatnot. I wonder if there's going to be other, any other combat like modifiers. This game is gorgeous, man. This game is absolutely beautiful. I'm really surprised by how gorgeous this game is. Like, it looks really good. Uh, we don't really have that many wounds running around, so... Wildfire? Sure, wildfire's fun. Let's do wildfire. Punch that one and soften him up so we can get him with the kill on the next go. Or we can kill one of them. That's disappointing. I wanted the machine gun fire to kill them both. And now I'm just depressed. That is a hell of a gun right there, and it makes me super happy.
And that's 87 XP right there. Not bad at all. I wonder if we can get through this gate over here. What's in this little dungeon? So we need to unlock the door, but we're missing a key. Forest and hills can be seen beyond. And then the great anus of the mountain lies exposed to our advance. So is there anywhere that I didn't go here? Because I feel like I just about went everywhere down that way. I don't know if there was anything off to the left that we failed to check on, but there's the village. We did the little loop around, so I'm pretty sure... I'm pretty sure we did everything over there, so let's go up. It's time for us to go up, up, up. Where well, you're gonna go up, up, up. All right, so let's go up. Got this thing. What's over here, and why is this relevant? Like, why is there... There's gotta build a bridge right there or something. I know it. Like, there'd be no reason for that fork to be right there. Uh, we got some more herbs. I do like the herb. Uh, we've got some ore, which is pretty cool. A little bit of flint in there. A little bit of metamorphose chert. Sea hurt. Oh man, you let your little bird go, though. Oh, banditos. That one's got a gun. That worries me ever so slightly. I don't want to get shot with a gun today. I would love for them to get shot with my giant robot gun. But I don't think I'm okay. Oh, we're about to get poisoned. Oh my god, that dude just went straight Red Dead Redemption on us. Yup, but he's toasted now. Oh, I don't think I will regret that. I think I feel pretty good about it, in fact. I'm really positive that that went exactly how I wanted it to go. So, there's a nice punch right there, because I'm going to break your armor, and then I'm going to punch you again with a small child. That's right, encouraging children to do violence. That's what we do here at the Nerd Castle. And then we'll stab that guy to death, and he will grope and then fall to the ground. Second wave is incoming. What do we got going on here? Just a little poo puddle and a, a weird cannon launchy thing. Um, use wildfire. And then you do... What does protection do? A damage shield on an ally that absorbs 31 damage. Barrier swing. So do I get to pick someone with this? Or does it just go on to like a random person? Hmm. Let's go ahead and cleave. We got a lot of abilities we need to get off like right now. So there it is. That's the kind of hit I like to see. Where's my assault cannon at? Get him! Uh, that's the ability right there. It's like Bum Rush from Final Fantasy VI. Just those consecutive hits. Just nine, 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 nine. And that should be a level, if I'm not mistaken. We didn't get anything on level four, so that's okay. In our loot menu, we got some common parts: a slime icor. So let's continue forward. We've got the ruins off the road here. They look military. This must be one of the Iron Outposts' old way stations, which means the outpost is nearby. Should we search it? Doesn't seem like the highest priority. Hmm. Yeah, but I'm gonna do it anyways because I believe in a thing called loot. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. I believe in a thing called loot. Just listen to the rhythm of my heart. What does this do right here? The gate grins at you, Riley, appearing to wink with its one smoky eye. Is that thing looking at us with only one eye? There's no obvious way to open it. It's like some kind of riddle. Whatever the case, we can't open it right now. We'll have to come back. Okay, I probably just need the other eye, right? That would be my first assumption, having played a lot of D&D. Probably got to find the gemstone that goes in the other slot or something like that. Ooh, there's a dude over here. Uh, yeah, do that. Did that count? Did I get the haste? Or do I have to charge straight into him when I use it? Lieutenant Crusher, are you looking for trouble? I'm going to shoot you with a Gatling gun until... Oh, no! Lieutenant Crusher got them hands on him. Okay, he wants to go in. Let's do this thing. Ha, 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 apparently. The dead will be the lucky ones. Whatever you say, Chief. That looked like it probably hurt a little bit, though. I back up off that rhetoric. I'm going to hit him with the, uh, what does Rage Wave do? Hits all enemies doing 36 magic damage. All right, let's do this. Um, Hit him with one more, and then we'll do a super overcharge next time around. He's got enough HP left on him to where I think this is probably going to be fine. Uh, Quake Fist, 34 damage to a target. Yeah, go for it. Quake Fist is on its way. I like those speedy deliveries. I like a fast delivery man, all right? And that armor is now sundered. He's trying to cast something over there. There's 30-something damage. I wonder if we're going to get the opportunity to cancel attacks or something later, like in Grandia, where you can do, like, a critical strike when somebody's charging, and it knocks them off their little... Oh, no. He's on fire, and he's punching a child. This man has clearly fallen into the wrong side of life's nicer straits. I mean, I feel like the point at which you're punching a child, there's not really a whole lot of coming back from there, you know what I mean? Like, it's morally... It's morally dubious at best. And you've been punched in the dick to death. We have won the battle easily. Well, let's not go too far. He punched a child for like 60 damage. That dude was worth XP. Hell yeah. What does he got? Give me his loot. So we got common parts and knockout gloves. 
tell me I can put those on the little girl. The people on this island are strangely cryptic. He was here looking for something. If we don't find Monica and Nolan soon, we're going to get dragged into it. That does seem likely. Yeah, it really does. Let's find him. Hold on, I gotta put these punch gloves on. These punch gloves are dope. So defense goes down, but damage goes up. Well, you better put them on. You better put them on right now. You're goddamn right. We're gonna have a child in our party who's wearing adorable punch gloves. Because I believe in things like that, alright? It might be a novelty, but it's a novelty that I care about. So we're gonna do it. Uh, a bunch of crafting materials and some money inside of that crate right there. Nothing that looks too crazily ornate, but still good stuff. Still good stuff. I think I can live with it. All right. Let's have a look around. So we got a bandit fight over there. It looks like we've got a chest right there that I could just go up and get if I really wanted it. We've got a lootable stump down here. So I'm going to go grab that. Got ourselves another fight. Uh, it looks like a, a landmine or something. A motivator. I don't know what a motivator is, so I'm going to punch it. Uh, it's stunned. Apparently those gloves have a stun chance on them, which is fantastic. You know, I'm beginning to think that I don't even need to... Oh, I do. I was going to say, I'm starting to feel like I don't even need to click to do an auto attack, but I'm going to knock that dude out, and it looks like he got attack up, but he lost some HP. Ah! That dude just got sideways on us. All right, we got a we gotta nature's boon on yourself here, and then I'm going to have you throw them hands. Bop! There it is. Nice little hit. Didn't get a stun, but it's good enough. And then we'll... Ah, you killed it right before he healed, man. That was almost a fair fight. Almost. But who knew the power of giant boxing gloves with stars on them? Who knew? Those weren't worth anything. We get some tank treads and some other little things inside of there. What I'm interested in, though, is this stoomp. We've got ourselves access to some serious loot down in here. And I think I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Want, want. So there we go. We got some more loot right there, and we got another one of those landmine things on this side. But he's guarding a treasure chest, which means I'm going after his ass. I'm going after it hard. I will not enjoy this violence much. So all damage taken until next turn. If attacked, it generates five overcharge. I feel all right about that. Why are they always attacking little kids, man? Arcane sick. What does that do? So interrogate decreases your magic or increases magic damage taken. Oh, so he debuffs you so other people can hit you harder. Okay, cool. Whether they be mage or whether they be warrior, they gonna drop them hands on you. So there's our overcharge right there. This game is just absolutely gorgeous and I love playing it. Seriously, this is one of those games that I can tell I'm gonna be playing a lot in my free time. I'm really having a good time with this one. Having a ball, and I don't just mean a reference to these little dudes over here. Uh, there's a Sunder out. We're gonna go ahead and start this thing off. Get a nice little auto attack in there. And then uh, Big Guts, drop him. We got bonus XP on him because we overkilled him. Yup. 35 more XP. These guys weren't really worth much. But they are giving us crystals of some kind that we didn't have any of before. So I'm okay with it. There's an Outpost Tunic right there. How is that? Is it any good? Outpost Tunic gives you a bunch of bonus damage, but it reduces your attack power. I think I can live with that. I like attack power. I'm a firm proponent that if you kill something fast enough, you don't need defense. Yeah, best defense is offense, man. Best defense is offense. All right, and what looks like our final battle for the episode, we've got a tank, we've got a bat, and we've got a spider. I'm going to go after the tank first, because he seems like the biggest problem for us. I am going to use an ability right here. What does Rallying Strike do? 45 damage and increases your haste. Do it. And then we'll go ahead and we'll jab on him too. Yep, jab on a foe. Oh, we knocked him out. Good. I wasn't actually expecting that to kill him, but it did. And so I'm going to take that as a positive thing. Hell yeah. Oh, our robot is just getting decked on right now. And so now we got haste up. I'm going to try and get him to heal himself before this goes any worse. So nature's boon on you. And then I'm going to jab this guy, and hopefully we don't kill his ass. There we go. Effervescent. Oh. I think I just used a different ability. I thought I was going to heal, but I guess not. I think I clicked the wrong one. They're both, like, green colored, man. It's confusing. I got problems when it comes to, like, colors and text, man. It confuses me. It throws me off. 48 XP right there. Very nice. And then we got ourselves some common parts, scraps of hide, salvage tech treads, and some digger silk. Okay. My name is Splattercat. This game is called Battle Chasers Night War. I will see you all later, and we will see what is inside of this spoopy-ass building over here, all right? Hi, everybody, and I'll see you next time.